Well, hello guys. Uh, I guess this is no hair Josh doing a video for Crazy Hair Bill. To be honest with you. Uh, he asked me to do a video while I was checking out my batteries. So he wanted to see what was going on with them here. Uh, here's the new load tester. As you can see, it goes up to 16 volts. Uh, it's got these different graduations right in here for like, what is it, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000 uh, cold cranking amps. So when you hit this button and you draw it down and load it, then it'll tell you on that little green scale where your cranking amps is at, basically. And if it goes down below that, you know that it's a bad battery. So first thing we're going to try is this little Voltage 78 series that I had in the front of the truck yesterday. Sorry it's so windy guys, I know it's probably going to be hard to hear me. Uh, I had that in the front of the truck up until yesterday or last night and I took it out. We're going to hook it up here and we're going to see what we got. It was at 13 volts when I unhooked it last night. And it appears that it's still sitting at 13 volts. And we load her down and she goes down to 1,000 cold, 800 cold cranking amps. So that little 78 series voltage is 800 cold cranking amps and it is not dropping. So that's good. That's good news. I'm going to toss it up in here. here Come my buddy Jake from the Grand Prix. Come over to bring me some medicine for my toothache because I ain't got none. A nice one. Oh. So, now I gotta unhook these one at a time and test them. I'm taking a video while I test all of these so these guys can see what's going on with them. Whew, that some bitch is hot from testing that one. That one there is over 800 cold cranking amps. Doesn't drop at all when I load test it. It sits right at 13 volts. Yep. I took it out last night because I had a feeling maybe it was bad. So, you know, but shit, that's 800 cold cranking amps. There's nothing wrong with that, baby. So now what I'm going to do is just unhook my daisy chain stuff here uh, one at a time, carefully, <laughs> so they don't hit each other and whatnot. And we're going to test each battery individually. See, if I unhook it like that, so that's unhooked, now we can just test that battery. It doesn't matter that the other side's hooked up to something, because one side's unhooked, one side's unhooked. That's all that matters. Uh, negative. And the positive. And it's sitting at right about 13 volts. We load her down. And it's up over a thousand cold cranking amps. On the first top line there. And it's starting the carbon pile on fire. So and we know that one's good. So between those two, there's 1,800 cold cranking amps. Now, what if the rest of these batteries are junk? <laughs> then I guess I unhook everything but the two, huh? So, okay. Go on to the next one, then. guess it's easiest just to unhook all the grounds. Probably safest, too, I suppose. Yeah, that would, yeah. Honestly. I, I don't have to worry about it like, oops, yeah. and starting my truck on fire. As long as I don't touch it over here. <laughs> Yeah, this side's a bad On the hot side. side, yeah. Bad. Bad side. Very bad. Very bad, bad side. I hope I don't burn this up before I get done. Checking all these in a row. They get that hot, huh? Oh, put your hand by it or touch it. Oh, fuck. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's a carbon pot. It's like a, like a heating element for an electric heater in there. And then it has a gauge hooked up to it, so you can just see how much power is going to the heating element, basically. Now, like I said, that first one was at 800 cold cranking amps. You can see, I don't know, I'll try to get in here close enough so you can see all the numbers. It does, this phone does not focus for crap, man. Let's see, maybe I can come back here and focus it in. I'll try it. No, it doesn't. It does really good at long distances, and it catches flex really good, but... It's 1,000, then 800, then 600, then 400, then 200. But I don't know if you'll be able to see it on a video or not. But, yeah. So, anyway, here we're going to go on to the next one now. Got that one unhooked. Get the negative dragged up over there. And the 
positive. And it looks like we're holding on 13 volts. We drag her down. That's like 1,500 cold cranking amps. Okay, so obviously that battery's good. Wow. 1,500? <laughs> Holy shit. One of these has got to be bad, man. These batteries can't have this much juice. Those fucking, all those amps can't be drawing this much juice. There just ain't no way. With all this power? Yeah, you wouldn't think. I know they're power-hungry motherfuckers, though. Yeah, I understand that, but I mean, we're already talking how much juice between 13, about 1,300 and 1,500 cold cranking amps and 800. I mean, you're already talking over 3,000 cold cranking amps just to those three batteries. Next. Where we're sitting. About. That's a little lower. That's right on the edge of 13. Uh, still specking out to like 1200. That seems to be good. See, I mean, I, I, there's got to be one of these that's bad. I'm going to have to run into one that ain't going to be any good, you know. I just don't see any way around it. Well, this. hopefully it's just one. I know. I hope so, too. Put Guys, I'm going to pause you for a second. I'll come back in just a second um, because this thing's hot. <laughs> I'm going to give it a minute to cool off. We'll resume. Okay, we're back now. Uh, get something shoved under here. We're down to the third one. We got the battery uh, tester cooled off a little bit. I got it upside down, but that's all right. You still get the idea. This one's sitting like right at 13 volts too. Ooh, we load that one and it's dropping to the yellow. It's dropping to like 800. Or just under 1,000. And it keeps dropping. Look at that. It keeps dropping. More. 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 Bad. 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 See that, Jake? Yep. Every time you hit it. Oh. All the way down to 8 volts. We found a bad one, boys. That one's junk. It's got to go. Sweet! So I know this is like 1,300, 1,500, 1,300, nothing. <laughs> okay, next. You want to hold that, buddy? Then I can just swap these up real quick and we get this on the road. Thanks, Jake. Yep. So we know that one's got to go. It's junk. Bad. Bad battery. You're a bad boy. You gotta go in the junk pile. That one I've welded before. I think you can see that. <laughs> I accidentally touched something to it that wasn't supposed to be touched to it. Huh? That's why your batteries burn up, stupid. Maybe. Come on, get on there. Ouch! Ooh. All right, this one's sitting right at 13. That one's staying at 12. 1300. That one's good. Yep, that one's good. She's not dropping. Okay, go on to this next one, I guess. Then we're going to call it quits and take this one bad battery out and see what happens. I, I don't know. I, I guess I'll put the front one back in since it's 800 gold cranking amps. I might as well. It seems to be good. Yeah. And it got worse without it. So this one's good. This one's junk. Bad. I don't know which one it is. That one's starting out right at 13. She's staying right at 1200. I 
can say that one's good too. So we got one bad battery out of all of them. And that makes sense. That'd uh, be killing everything. Because, I mean, it was it dropped down to 8 volts like pow. So, there we go, guys. Sweet. Thanks, Jake, for the help. No problem.